Welcome to Metalcraft by Design. The Metalcraft by Design has been a huge dream of mine for a long time, and I finally have enough time to set up the shop how I want it. But, as you can see behind me, I've got this beautiful brand new Shop Saber Sidekick 8. But, I haven't been able to cut any parts out yet because I don't have a good, clean, filtered supply of air. So today, I want to walk you through the process of how I took a $200 Husky air compressor and turned it into the ultimate air supply for my shop. Here in the shop, I'm a little tight on space. I've got the well pump for the house here in the corner, and after pulling some tape measure measurements, I realized if I cut the motor and compressor off of the top of my air compressor, I could fit the tank in that space. So that's exactly what I did. I built a platform, I mounted the tank, I welded the actual motor bracket with compressor to that platform and then began designing my air filtration setup, my drain valves, and my charge air cooler for my air system. So after the air is cooled, it goes into this stainless pipe, which eventually is going to get a Quincy brand QWS bulk moisture separator between the cooler and the tank. Right now it's back ordered, so I put in a little moisture trap here down below and it seems to work really well. So when that air is cooled, the water condenses in this piping and settles down in that valve and I can drain it manually. Now up to the tank, we can see I tried to use stainless and copper fittings anywhere possible. Um, once it gets to the tank, any moisture that settles, I can blow down manually with my tank blow down valve over here. The discharge from the tank then comes down to its first stage of filtration. Let's talk about the pressure switch. So I used some generic split clamps I found on Amazon to mount it as well as the filtration setup to my platform that I built. And from this pressure switch, it's got a 240 volt supply, which I used a NEMA 1450 plug because that's what I have here in the shop. And then from there, once that pressure switch closes, then it powers the motor here. And from the motor, I've got jumper wires down to my power supply that run my cooler. And so the beauty in this is that when the motor runs, the cooler's running as well. So here's my air filtration setup that I came up with. We're gonna start with a Quincy QMF model filter, and it's a one micron, good for solid particles, oil, and water. Then it goes to a Milton brand desiccant dryer. It's a two quart capacity. I got it on Amazon. And then after that, we go to a Quincy QCF, and that is a 0 0.01 micron coalescing filter. So same thing, uh, solid particles, oil, and water. After that, we go to a Quincy QAF, and that absorbs hydrocarbons and reduces contamination of the compressed air. I have a Tsunami brand regulator, and then a manifold I got off Amazon. And these are just Milton brand uh, quick disconnect couplers. So let's talk about what this setup actually cost. We started with an air compressor from the auction for $200. And after I found out it had a bad motor, I swapped the motor out with an old motor I had laying around here. And so that was free. I probably have $75 to $100 in half inch NPT copper pipe. Uh, and then this transmission cooler was about $200 on Amazon. The power supply that powers it was another $20. And then the pressure switch was another 40. These braided stainless lines that I've got with AN fittings, uh, they were 25 bucks a piece. And then the valve up top, that was another 20 bucks as well. These little rubber pucks that I used to design my own fiber isolating mounts were about 10 bucks for each size. And so we'll call that $20. If we go to the filters, each Quincy filter after tax was about $250. So you got $750 in Quincy filters right there. And then the Milton Desiccant Dryer was about $150. After the filters, we've got our Tsunami Regulator. That was about $80. And then we've got our little manifold here. That was only about $10. All these split mounts I got off Amazon, these clamshell style mounts, and they were about 20 bucks for all of them, which I used to mount all my hardware and filters, and they've worked out pretty well so far. So let's see how well this thing works. We're starting at zero PSI in the tank. I've got my drain valve open here for my supply air to the tank. And I've also got my blowdown drain open so you can see there's nothing in the tank. All right, here we go. You can 
see how smooth it is. It doesn't vibrate much at all. All right, we're all charged up. Let's see how much water our moisture trap collected after our charge air cooler. So that was one cycle from zero PSI to 150 PSI. So that's how I took a $200 air compressor from the auction and created the ultimate shop compressed air system. If you guys are interested in putting something together yourself and you wanna use the same parts that I used, let me know in the comments and I'll include the link so you guys can do it too. Thanks for watching and I'll see you on the next one.